Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the teardown of the RM125 1998 model. I uh, just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Uh, starting to make a bit of progress now. Uh, got the engine uh, stripped down and cleaned off. Got all these uh, alloy parts all de blasted and cleaned off. Uh, got the frame all powder coated. So that's all come out nice. Uh, the colour. It's slightly um, brighter than the older one. I just wanted to brighten it up a bit, but it's still um, a like a metallic color, so it's a metallic gray like the original. Um, got all the parts all ordered up using uh, factory image racing all balls, uh, Crocs, uh, Sidekick. Uh, Boyson uh, factory racing parts. Uh, what else are we using? Uh, factory image racing titanium, uh, UFO plastics, um, XL gold rims, which will look proper smart when they're all back on. Um, haven't come across any problems as yet. So all the engines all cleaned off. I've got to. Uh, uh, rivet uh, the new clutch basket onto here. I'll show you closely to that now. Um, I'll show you what's what. Uh, got some parts all polished up, and yeah, I'll show you around that now. So these are the parts all being cleaned up and uh, be blasted. So these are the hubs looking brand new. So we'll get some new bearings in there. Um, rear pedal lever polished up nice. Rear linkage housing. Kickstart looking like new. Link bars, chain adjusters, and then the swing and arm has all been cleaned off. And the same with the rear subframe. So this should all look very nice when it's all back together. Like my work always does. So on here you can see that th these are all the brake caliper parts, uh, all completely stripped down. These are the brake calipers, all looking brand new now. So when I come to rebuild these now, I'll uh, clean out the threads, um, use a tapping wrench, and use all the correct sizes. What I use to do this, I use a thread gauge. Thread gauge looks something like this. And you've got all the different teeth on there, and then you can read the uh, the size on there. So like one mil, one point two five, um, and then you would use a verniers to measure the outside to determine what thread it is. So it'd be M eight by one point two five or etc. Uh, the carrier caliper carriers, and then we've got all these kits here, so uh, these are all um, all balls, so we've got linkage kit, uh, caliper rebuild kits, sprocket shaft seal kits, um, there's another uh, caliper rebuild kit, factory image and braking pads, and they'll be ready for the calipers to go back together. Got some uh, factory image racing titanium here, we've got some uh, nice brake pins to go back in there and some Nice um, titanium uh, bleed nipples. The, the beauty about using titanium in alloy, the titanium won't corrode. That's what's so great about it. Just a little bit of uh, fine copper grease and um, stick them back in. And it just stands out and looks clean and tidy. Uh, the engine, got the engine all cleaned off now. So we've just got to put some new seals in it and put the stator back in it. Put a new piston on the small end and new gaskets. Uh, I've got to put all the, the clutch basket back on there. Got the barrel all cleaned off and tidied up. Cylinder head looking brand new. Give that a bit of a polish up. And then there's the other cases for the other side. All looking very nice and tidy. And then 
here's the parts we're going to stick back on the engine. Got these Boysim uh, factory racing covers, ignition and clutch. And we've got a Boysim reblock assembly, new revalves, to brighten it up a bit. And then we've got a, a Prox racing clutch basket. So what we've got to do here, so this is the, the old one. You see all them marks in there. That will make your clutch stick when it's cold. Um, and it's just not a very nice clutch at all. So what we have to do with this, we have to um, drill the rivets out and then pretty much take this back and plate off and then fit everything back over and put everything, it comes there with a nice uh, fitting instructions there, you can see there. Like I just said, so you uh, drill off the old ones and then it comes with the new rubbers. Um, um, socket there for putting the new um, screws in it to hold the clutch back on. We've got a Prox Racing outer um, clutch uh, pressure plate, Psychic Racing uh, clutch, um, Factory Miss Racing uh, lightened front sprocket, and then we've got the old parts there. I'll put a a Wyzeco piston in it. Uh, there's all the old parts down in there. This is the frame. Looking nice and tidy. And the forks there been cleaned up. So these forks were previously been rebuilt two years ago but never fitted to the bike. The bike has been sat for two years in pieces. So I've been given the task to pin it all back together. Got some uh, new radiators there. Um, got a box of bits over here, so handlebars and levers and uh, uh, cables and all bits and chain rollers, uh, big chain, new uh, O-rings for the exhaust, Motion Pro, Venture, factory image racing levers, little bars. Race tech handguards and high flow filter, and then on the floor here I've got all the titanium uh, bolts in that for the engine and um, the frame, and so every nut and bolt's going to be done in titanium. Uh, and then the only other thing that I'm missing to show you is what I'm going to use on the wheels. So we've got a minnow twin ring uh, rear sprocket. That trim is racing titanium uh, sprocket nuts. Uh, Motion Pro rim tape. This rim tape's good. Um, you know, it, it doesn't slip and it just withstands a lot more. So I've used it before uh, and it works well. We'll put in a set of Motor Master flame discs. Nice discs. Let's get them out here so I'll just show you. Nice looking disc. Stick them on. Put some uh, titanium uh, sprocket uh, disc bolts on there, so that'll look all nice. Uh, got these uh, billet uh, bead lock uh, rim locks, so that'll look tidy there. CC products, uh, stainless steel spokes for rebuilding the wheels. Uh, factory image racing uh, wheel bearing kits for front and back, and then we've got. Uh, Michelin HD tubes and we'll fit Michelin tyres to it as well. So that is all I have for you. Uh, so this would be part two really. I did do a strip down and uh, a, well a time lapse uh, of a strip down so you can see that on my YouTube channel. Um, so thanks for watching part, I'd say this is part two. Um, and then part three would probably be the engine back together um, and some of the stuff assembled and maybe have the forks on the on the frame. I'll put some uh, bearings, uh, headstock bearings in there and get the forks fitted in that. Yeah, so moving quick. So I have ordered a new depth tailpipe. I have fixed the 
old header pipe. I haven't got that in use in the workshop, so um, I'll pull that out next time. So, thanks for watching part two. Um, stay tuned for part three. Uh, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button to follow along for the next updated part. And yeah, happy days. Cheers, guys.